Hello, my name is Minister Jason Mitchell, and I want to welcome you today as we continue our 30 days of prayer. Today, we're going to pray for our nations. Now, the Bible is clear on this. The Word of God is actually very explicit. He tells us in Timothy that I exhort, therefore, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. So I know in today's world, your political leaders, those that are in charge in your nation may not be your favorite people. However, we see from the word of God that he is clear that praying for them is good. It is acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. So today we want to make sure that we pray for them. We want to make sure that we lift them up in prayer. Specifically, we want to pray for their salvation as our Father God, who is the Lord of the harvest, to send forth laborers into his harvest that they may be saved. Send someone to them that they will hear and receive from, someone that they will be able to accept the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If they know God already, then we want them to repent, renew that right relationship with them. We also want to pray that no evil, no harm befalls them as they exercise their duties in leadership. We further want to pray for them that they be surrounded by godly men and women, that God give favor for Christians to be on their staffs, to be those who will speak into their lives so that these men and women will bring the kingdom of God into the very halls of leadership, whether it's Downey Street or the White House or wherever your particular leader may be. We want Christians, the kingdom of God, his way of doing and being right, into those very halls, into those very rooms where our leaders are. We wanna pray for those in, in legislative capacities, whether it's Congress or a parliament. We lift them up to God and ask that he grant them his wisdom, salvation, that they may exercise their duties that are in line with the word and the will of God for us as a people. We're going to lay aside all feelings that we have that are negative, and we are going to pray. Now let's pray. Thank you.